generic greetings and welcome to Catch and Release, a quite relaxing game about sitting in a boat and trying to catch some fish, a game that I have played quite a while ago, but not in modern times, and since the last time I played it, there's been a couple of updates. Firstly, there is now the ability to go to a night version of the map, and secondly, there is now a cave somewhere. Now, I don't know exactly where that cave is, I'm guessing it's going to be in one of three places, either around there uh through actually oh, through there around that way and there's a waterfall and it'll be under there or it's going to be over there and i think that's probably where it is over in that direction either way i thought this would be just a nice little relaxing chill video about hopefully catching some fish speaking of catching some fish if we look at our mission booklet here that is not a mission booklet this is mission booklet we can see we have a to-do list here try out the new bait attach the spoon lure to your hook that's the spoon lure there earn 40 generic units of currency which i have done that but it was from selling a ring that i found just randomly placed in the boat and you need to get better catch a predator so that's pretty good the recent catch i made was a crapsy this thing here and speaking of crapsy i do apologize for the audio on the rift s microphone it is not very good to say the least either way we're going to go through i'm going to see if we can find a predator and i think i've shown there there's the uh the santa lives in slow flowing sparsely vegetated uh, murky waters with plenty of oxygen the santa is a predator through and through attracted by slow moving fish now if i take a look at this book i think if we go to fishing gear there is actually a specific lure for that it is the santa bait which is actually locked oh so i can't actually get that one i'm gonna have to use this thing here oh well fair enough anyway so it says slow moving water that's rich in oxygen that weighs exactly 810 grams um, if we check that out then, it says, we have to go back, yes, yeah, slow moving, oxygen rich environment. There's also the uh, Anasox, which is a predator fish, dominates clear waters, depends on vegetation to hunt its prey, stamina and will to fight is unmatched. Now the thing is, I've only got, actually I don't know how much I've got, I've got 144 generic units of currency, so I can't really afford some equipment. Uh, 149 for the red gold rod a more sophisticated rod for intermediate fishermen okay what i might do then is i'm going to go over to there we're going to catch a couple of fish get some more money and there's a moose hello mr moose let's go over there check the moose out turn the ball around and we'll head in that direction Hopefully we won't spook it. If this was Hunter Call of the Wild, we'll be reaching from other equipment, but uh, it is not, thankfully. So we can take in the lovely majestic moose. If there was multiple moose, would it be mooses? Moose sizes? Mooses? Or moose? Either way, we're getting close. Nice to see. Nice to see. Looks like it's head back into the woodland. Okay, fair enough. Right, so we'll go over to, as I said, that location over there, and we'll see if we can find anything. We'll probably put the uh, the worm on there. Uh, we can see along the map there's all manner of things to check out. We've got some driftwood there. We've got a boat that's broken. There's also one there. There is a, uh, where is it, over there's a kite in that tree. There is a, I think it's like a tent or something over there. And now and again, you'll get a, a plane going overhead and stuff, which is fairly good. Anyway, so we're going to head to here and we'll see if we can catch anything in and around these. Oh, we can see there's some fish down there. I can clearly see there's one. So what I'll do, uh, we've got some soundtrack as well, actually. So what have we got? Let's just go from the beginning just to see what we've got. So we've got from the beginning, blues. Can't tune in that station. Chill. Looks like we've got alt rock. That's catch and release radio. That is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines OST. That's Monkey Island, the curse of. <laughs> and 
That'll be Unavowed soundtrack, yeah, because you can put your own music in. I was going to put, you know, something a bit more relaxing there, but... That is... Is that the Hollywood theme? No. Anyway, let's go back to something that hopefully won't get us copyright claimed. Right, so a bit of chill, I think that was there. Or oh, blues, bit of blues, no. Ah, chill, where's chill? Let's go fishing, you said. Messes around with the radio for five minutes, he said. Okay, so we will get our rod. We will get our uh, bait. We're going to use this worm here. Bring this float down with the with the hook on the back. Swing it around eye level. And let's just go in there. And there we go. So we are after pretty much anything we can get. We can see there's fish already that went over there. So there's one swimming around there. There's actually two or three swimming around there. I don't know if they're going to go for this bait. One of them seems to be going for it. No, didn't take any notice there. In fact, it seems they rejected that bait. And now coming towards... Oh, we've got a bite. We've got a bite. Okay, so there's the rod bending there. So we need to let a bit of line out. We need to keep tension to it. Um, it doesn't look to be a very big fish, but we need to keep light tension on there. Keep in touch with it. Make sure we don't strain the rod too much there. It's coming towards the boat. That's nice. Doesn't look like to be a big fish, but... Oh, oh, we can hear the... Oh, no. If it... Okay, if it wants to run, we'll let it run. I say, just keep in touch with it. That's all we're doing here. It looks like we're having to rotate right round. This is bad. Ugh, okay. Good job. I've got a long headset cable. Uh, reel that in. We can see it's going to go under the boat again. No, don't go under the boat. It's, It's got a bit of fight in it, I'll be honest. It's got a bit of fight in it. Control is vibrating there. I really don't want to lose it. Oh, let it go a bit. Let it go a bit. bit more tension. Just keep it in touch. Come, and there we go so we have a fish and if we get that we can see it is a, a one of those uh, let's get our identification book out so this is I think it's one of those a Thuckian we've caught six it's a good two kilos and what about the weight? Uh, the the size. It's it's about 360 mil. Okay, I think it's one of those. What else could it be? I'm not too sure. Either way, in the box it goes. And is that it? Five. That's not very good. It might not have been one of those because it hasn't went up. Was it a crapsy? Uh, no, I don't know. It might have been a crapsy. Either way, I think we now have enough for fishing gear. Yeah? Red gold rod. Ooh. Oh, new hardware. So we now have a better rod. Excellent. Right, let's catch some more then. So we'll get this one again. No, that's not the wrong. That's the wrong lure. Let's get this one. Let's go for. Ooh, that's terrifying when it does that. And over there. So this one should be a better rod. So we'll see what we can catch, if anything. It's it's Iron Man colours, isn't it? It's hot rod red and gold titanium alloy type thing with the spool. That is. Uh... Oh, we got one already. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put. It, I'm just gonna put a lot of pressure on this and see where it breaks. Wow, okay. That's really starting to strain on that one. Right, I think the... I think the uh, bamboo rod would have broken by now. And we have caught a fish. By the look of it, it's got red on it. So let's put that down. Get our identification bucket again. Uh, sorry, that was the identification book. So, it is. Let's put it down. Surely that's a red tail. <laughs> the fact that its fins are red. Yeah, it's a red tail. It's a red tail. What are we talking here? Uh, don't know if that's a good weight for that fish. One and a half. Uh, maybe not too bad. What's, what's the size of that? Probably 11 inches. No, it's exactly a foot. Okay, no problem. In, in we go. 
Ooh, six. That's good. Happy with that. Okay, so once again, let's catch one more if we can. So cast. That was a bit high. A bit too much loft on that one, but no matter. Just turn the boat a bit. There we go. So we've got another uh, perhaps crapsy down there or something, but we'll see. So that one there was, uh, oh, there's two of them going towards it. One of them's a bit bigger. So anytime you like. But there's a bite. Okay, so let's, let's say, just really try to put it under a lot of pressure. Oh, we lost it. Okay. So yeah, there is, there are, there are limits. We knew there were limits, but you know, I just want to test those out. So it's still over there. So let's see if we can, not a bad cast, get it. Oh, it looks like it's going for it again. So we know that this rod is not, invincible we know that there will it will it will let go if there's enough enough pressure on it so let's wind in the slack there i don't really like the line going there looks like there's a fish going towards it now so we might get a bite and there we go strike and let's keep in touch with it lines bending it's going to take a run into the reeds probably but you know just keep the pressure on Let some line out if need be. But it's really, oh, it's coming straight towards us. It's almost going to land itself. There we go, not bad. A bit more. A bit less. Just keeping in touch. Keeping the pressure on. It's coming close to the surface now. Come on. Right under the boat again. I have a feeling we're about to get it. Come on. Just trying to lift the rod. Keep that pressure on. And there we go. And, oh, whatever it is, it looks like it'll be a good fish. It's a good size. That is a good size fish. So, identification book once again. That's two, uh, two just over two kilos. Um, looking at this, it's not one of those. Oh, is it? Is it one of those? Fuck you. It's a crapsy, isn't it? It's a crapsy. 2.13. Oh, so that is actually the heaviest, heaviest fish I think we've got. Hmm. That is almost a two foot long fish. An eight. Eight. Is that it? Not very good. Okay. So we've done that. So let's see. Uh, you need to get your better. Catch a predator. So the predator that we were after, at least we've done well on that one. The, the predator I was after was this uh, Santa. It is sparsely vegetated, murky waters with plenty of oxygen. Well, there should be plenty of oxygen near the, near the waterfall. So we're going to head over there. Um, and it also says murky waters, so deep, I'm guessing. So let's head over to, I'll tell you what, we'll probably head in between the waterfall and the sort of cavey bit over there. Actually, it's not a cave, it's a, like an outcropping, isn't it? The cave, I think, is over there. And yes, that is where the cave is. So that's new. I want to not only try and experience the cave in this uh, video, but also we'll we'll try some of the the night fishing. So let's have a couple of attempts around here. That seems to be quite dark, murky, foreboding waters there. So let's try that out. I'm going to pick that up because I don't want it going off the edge of the boat. We also have a hat. Uh, but, you know, it's a bit... Ow. Every time I try to take it off, I not only punch myself in the headset, which is not a euphemism, but also, yeah, end up... Uh, it, it just seems a bit claustrophobic with that on. So, uh, yes, we'll put that down there. Okay, so we will get our rod. Actually, I'm just going to wonder. I wonder if we put on this side, do we... Yeah, you can see the um, the handle changes bearing on which hand you pick it up. Oh, very smart. So we'll do that, and we'll get this thing, and... We will cast probably about there. Pretty much bang on. So, let's see. 
if we can get something. This is brand new. This is a predator fish we're after. So we might have to actually move the float because it says a catch. It goes for slow moving prey. Now I don't know whether we have to move it or whether you have to stay still. I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll try just leaving it there for <clears throat> leaving it there for a while. See if we get anything. There might it might just be a case of there's no fish there. Actually, I can see a fish. There we go. We've got one. We've got one. I don't know what it is, but oh, it's got a run on it. Okay. That hasn't half got some run on it. So it's going there. Okay, fair enough. I don't think we'd be able to do this without the other rod. And it's starting to rain. I think it's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. Okay. It's, it's went down, hasn't it? Uh, that doesn't look like the fish we're after. But I won't know until I land it, if we land it. There's no such thing as a definite land on this one. To be fair, you always remember the fish you are, you fish the lose rather than... The, you always remember the one that got away. Oh, come on. I wish we'd make a decision. Is it right under the boat? It's not making it easy, that's for sure. Just taking in the audio cues and... That is... Not what we're after. But... It's a golden colour. Oh! 2.7 kilos. Hmm. Not any of those. Is it a crapsy? No, because the highest crapsy we've caught is uh, 2.7. It... No, it's not a Santa. It's not what we're after. Uh, chum buckler? Ah. It's a fucking. in. Okay, no problem. Good cash. Okay. Not a bad attempt. Let us try that again. Oh, it's it's eaten my. I have to buy it all the time. That's a problem. I don't think I've got the cash for that. <laughs> Fishing gear. Spooner. Predators and hunting vegetation. Ah. So that could be a problem. So we can't use that one to catch. The Santa. Clear waters. Depends on vegetation to hunt its prey. Clear waters with vegetation. Surely that's a contradiction. Um, okay, we'll have one more attempt here, then we'll have a look in the lake. In fact, you know what? No, sorry, uh, we'll have a look in the cave. I'm going to have a look in the cave now, simply because it's raining quite a bit, and, yeah, the weather is starting to turn for the worst. So, we're on the boat round. It's actually easier to roll the boat backwards, but uh, quite frankly, it's not a very good thing for you to look at. So we're going to head into the cave and see what that is like, because, well, it should be a nice experience, hopefully. And it's in the dry. Seems to be a butterfly going around there. Nice. So, I'll take the boat that way. And in here. And the first time in the cave. Oop, some vines out the way there. So I can take that off. And we've gone to cave. Hang on. Let's see what station we've got. Okay, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines combat music is not what I wanted, but I'll settle for it. And I wonder how far this cave goes. I like the reflections on the walls. 
I'm also going to snap the rod in half when it touches that. <laughs> Not the right music for going into caves. Oh, okay. So it's like... A bit darker here. See all the reflections on the side. That's nice. I really hope the developers haven't put any jump scares in this because if so, I'm going to send this headset into low Earth orbit to have a little chat with the Hubble Space Telescope see if there's any jump scares. Oh, there's a fish down there. To be fair, you know, there the would be. Oh, the lure is on. My mistake. There is a, the lure is still on, so you don't have to buy the lure. I wonder if there's any specific lures for caves. I'll have to check in a second. Let's uh, just put this down and see if we can catch anything. Let's see why we're here. Ah, this one. Fishing gear. Glowing bait. Small glowing bait that attracts light sensitive fish. Oh, hang on. Apparently that attracts fish as well. Uh, so, yes, there are actually this bait specifically for light sensitive fish, which I'm guessing is the species in here. All right. So this will be the first cave fish that I've caught. Or maybe, well, not necessarily caught, but we'll have to wait and see about that one. But the first fish inside a cave. And when I say cave fish, I don't mean the, the weird biker gang from Full Throttle. There's a reference I didn't think I'd make in this video. Looks like it's close to the surface. Just keeping in touch there. Ooh, that didn't sound good. There's lots of little bits of like dust and little flying things going around and stuff. It doesn't come across at all on the video, but that's the sort of thing that sells VR, like the dust and that sort of stuff, because it's got, well, good sort of depth of field, and oh, here we go. So we have a fish, and grab, ah, oh, just one of those. Okay, nothing special. I'll wait anyway. <sighs> Never fails. Okay, so I managed to lob the fish. Arr, come on, and that must be a, that must be a, A record there. See, that's a crapsy. Main menu music. Okay. Is that a crapsy? Looks to be. I just realised the sound as well, very echoey. Fair enough. Anyway, we have caught, oh, a cave doll and a cravey. Oh, is this a cravey then? So there must be like, yeah, there's cave versions of each one. What are we on? Hmm, not too bad. About 45 centimeters. And Hmm, not too sure. Oh well, we've caught fish. That's good. Let's progress on. What else soundtrack can we put on? And some bit of foreboding. That's much better. That's Monkey Island. I think that's, uh... Is that the good soup theme? Not too sure. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, it's not just a cave. It's like an, an inlet. We'll have a hole in the roof. Oh, wow. That's really cool. We've got like a log with loads of mushrooms on there. Got a nice little bit on the left for things to climb up on the land. Big hole in there and it looks to be a rope. Either that or it's uh, one of those things in Half-Life 2 that, you know, actually I think it's in Half-Life 1 as well. I'm probably Alex. Half-Life, you know what I mean. And, oh, there's some uh, chicken of the woods on there. Fun guy. What's around there? 
Well, we're gonna have to have a look at that, aren't we? I wonder if we... I wonder if there's another way out. Oh, is that a chest? Oh, it's like... Ah, oh, someone's been camping here. Right, okay. So they've got a nice tent. Yeah, deck chair and all that. And I don't know what's over there. We'll stand up. What can we see? Ah, heads of cable. Stuck in chair. Uh, no, I can't see what it is. Looks nice, though. Okay, we will continue on. I'm liking this little exploration of the cave. Have a look down for... Oh, there's a fish over there. And it's a different size to the other ones. I'll tell you what, let's do a bit of fishing then. So, this, this, and send it. Oh, it immediately turned. Hmm. Let's see if it wants to take the bait. I don't know what type of fish it is, so it might not even want this type of bait, although it does seem to be heading towards it. Come on. It's an eel of some kind by the look of it. Come on, that's it. Head towards it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be interested. Just move it a little. No. What could that be then? It's going to be... Anna Socks? Doesn't look like. Fish, it could be an otter. Insects on the water surface or smaller substance found on the lake bottom. Easy attracted by lures that are bright and constantly in motion. It could be one of those. Known as the... Oh, it's in the hunting grounds. Fair to hunt during the night. Oh, okay. So, that says bright and constantly in motion. I'll tell you what then. Let's see if we have the option to get a bright lure. Mm, no, no. Glowing bait. We have a glowing bait. Okay, let's see if that works. I mean, this game's always been a nice relaxing thing, but it's got a lot more depth to it now. Right, so constantly in motion, it says. So I'm just going to slowly reel in. Well, so far, no luck. Something's going towards it. No. Nothing. Nothing. One more cast, then. We'll send it. That was the wrong button. And send it. That wasn't bad. I'm sure that rain's getting heavier. It is getting heavier. <laughs> it's only getting louder. Well, so far, there's no interest in this. Uh, okay. Let's call it a bust. We're going to head off. Let's head down there. That is definitely getting heavier, that rain. <laughs> the weather in this game is um, quite substantial and torrential in this particular case. You also get lightning as well, which, to be fair, fishing in the middle of a lake with a, hmm, a metal rod is asking for trouble. So exploring this cave, we got left and right. I wonder if it just goes round. I think it does. I think it just goes round. Oh, no. Oh. Huh. Well, there's some stuff over there. And... 
it seems to be some cave paintings. Oh, Rod. Oh yeah, we've got some cave paintings. So, a couple of hunter-gatherers using a spear to spear fish. And there you go. <laughs> There's some nice shallow water there. But also lots of foliage, so maybe pretty good for certain things. Got some more light here, looks to be an open area again. Oh, more paintings. You can see the light coming in there. Bear. Uh, bears caught a fish, frightens the hunter-gatherers, and then they get a spear, and then spear beats fish and bear. Brilliant. Uh, so yeah, there's loads in here. This is a fairly substantial addition. There's someone hugging a fish. And I think this is a place we saw before. Oh, there's a fish down there. Let's just try our luck. See, I don't know if this is the right bait. I'm guessing that the fish we find in here are a bit more advanced than the other stuff anyway. Yeah, okay, keep going. I want to explore the rest of the cave. This is turned from a fishing game into an exploration game. And that is not a bad thing. We have two ways to go. That way, we have... I don't know if we've seen that, but we're going to go in here. I'm really hoping there's another quicker way out, because I don't particularly want to... Uh... Oh. Oh, wow. By the way, that's not the radio going bust. That is a legit piece of music in the game. <laughs> that's like... Pain of Civilization. And... Yeah. There's like a bricked up doorway entrance there. Um, does this just go all the way around? I think it does. That, that that goes the way, yeah, we can go that way. I think all the mushrooms are lighting up. <laughs> Let's go in there. Let's go in there. See what we can find. Fairly deep down there as well. Wow. And what's this? Oh, it looks to be some, like, archaeological exploration. Got lights and, yeah. How there's been hunting and gathering and such. Different birds there, sun, moon. And it is definitely, definitely still raining. Right, I'll tell you what, what we'll do. We'll go through here this time. Just smash the back of the boat on the edge there. No problem. Uh... And what have we got down here? I think this will just go all the way around. But then again, we don't really know. It's got a lovely atmosphere to it. And I think that's... Where's that go? Is that just back from where we came? No, because we came around that side. So I don't know what we're going to find down here. It might be another way out. No, we've just not. We've just been in there. Oh well, so it is back there. Anyway. We've explored a bit of a cave. Um, I really like that. That was quite nice. Uh, the problem is now I'm I'm literally stuck in a cave um, that's about maybe 10 minutes rowing to the entrance and that music really does 
sort of put home how it feels at the moment to have to get back out here well we've done some fishing we have successfully caught a couple of fish um nothing great and certainly not the predator fish that i wanted to catch but we've had a lovely explore of this cave and i have a feeling i'm going to be going around in circles for ever in a day uh, there might be another way out i really don't know uh, you would have thought that there may have been an easier way out and maybe there still is but also yeah, maybe it's the sheer effort of having to get here and whatnot that, uh, well, it's, well, it makes it worthwhile because of the effort you put in. And we'll see more stuff on the way out. I just smashed into that, smashed into that. I'm gonna, this boat's gonna be absolutely wrecked by the time we get anywhere. And that looks nice. That looks very, very nice. Rocks. Oh, wow. It's all lit up. <laughs> Is that writing? I'm really not too sure. Either way, this is a lovely place to end it. We did not, sadly, get to look at the nighttime stuff, but I think that will be a future video if that is something you would want to see either way did some fishing had an explore experienced the sights and sounds of a cave and probably the smells quite frankly um and it's also still heavily heavily raining <laughs> either way as always a lovely relaxing session on catch and release if you want to see more by all means let me know in the comments and we will go from there as always thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings